Nancy Cordes is with Hillary Clinton. Did anybody see that debate last night? It might have been a lack of sleep or her eye-popping new poll numbers. Either way, in Detroit today, Clinton was practically giddy. What's exciting to me is that we're getting more and more support, not just from Democrats, but from independents and Republicans. Hoping to pick off more of them, her campaign released four ads featuring GOP voters who have already made the switch. So I'm crossing party lines and voting for Hillary. I don't always agree with her, but she's reasonable and she's smart. Her aides argue Trump's personal attacks last night the devil show he's now more focused on stoking his base than expanding it. And believe me, she has tremendous hate in her heart. Trump's troubles were a welcome distraction from the WikiLeaks release of 2,000 more hacked emails from Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta's account. The first batch on Friday included long sought after passages from Clinton's paid speeches to Wall Street. They showed her bantering with a banking industry she has criticized on the trail. Today's batch revealed the inner workings of her campaign press machine, spinning her positions on sensitive issues like the Keystone XL oil pipeline. In one email from last August, a top aide writes, we are trying to find a good way to leak her opposition to the pipeline without her having to actually say it and give up her principled stand about not second guessing the president in public. Apparently, they never found a way and Clinton went public a few weeks later in Des Moines. I don't think it's in the best interests of what we need to do to combat climate change. Despite Clinton's recent surge here in Ohio and elsewhere, her aides say they need more data before deciding whether to try to expand the battleground map to include a handful of red states, states like Utah and Arizona and Georgia, where the race was already unexpectedly close, Scott, before this weekend's developments. Nancy Cordes, thanks very much.